NASA finds star system with seven Earth-like planets. NASA this week unveiled a major discovery of a star system that contains seven planets similar to Earth. What's exciting is that three of them might just be habitable enough to support extraterrestrial life. Using the Spitzer Space Telescope and Earth-based telescopes, NASA scientists have found a star system called TRAPPIST-1, located 40 light-years from Earth. The ultra-compact system contains seven Earth-like planets, with surface temperatures low enough to support water. Three of these planets are believed to be in the habitable zone, close to the system's ultra-cool dwarf star. These planets take 6, 9, and 12 days, respectively, to orbit the dwarf star. Scientists believe their Earth-like planetary compositions may not only support water, but maybe even life. NASA calculations reckon that all the newly discovered planets have a rocky surface, but the space agency says more investigation is needed to determine if any of them contain water. In 2018, NASA will launch the James Webb Space Telescope and will use this for further research into the TRAPPIST-1 system. This telescope can reportedly pinpoint water, methane, oxygen, ozone, and other elements of a planet's atmosphere. The TRAPPIST-1 system is located 235 trillion miles from our solar system, which means if you wanted to catch a flight there, the journey would take about 44 million years. So, still faster than a Spirit Airlines flight. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Keep watching for more cool space stuff. Earth-like planet discovered orbiting our closest star. Scientists have discovered a planet orbiting the star closest to our own sun. If that's not remarkable enough, the planet lies in the star's so-called Goldilocks zone, meaning it's possible the planet's surface supports liquid water and perhaps even life. The exoplanet Proxima b is believed to have a rocky surface and its minimum mass is 1.3 times that of Earth. It orbits the red dwarf star Proxima Centauri within its habitable zone at a distance less than 5% the distance between the Sun and Mercury. A full orbit, meaning a planetary year, takes about 11 days. Proxima b is tidally locked, meaning one half of the planet is always bright and the other is always dark. The temperature of the planet's surface could be around minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. If it has an atmosphere, the temperature could reach as high as 86 degrees Fahrenheit on its light side, meaning it could be warm enough to hold liquid water. The planet cannot be viewed by current telescopes. However, scientists are hoping new telescopes to be built in the next decade will reveal some of its secrets. Project to capture image of Earth-like exoplanet underway. Project Blue a plan to build a compact space telescope has been launched. Backed by private investors, the mission aims to capture an image of a potential Earth-like exoplanet orbiting a nearby star system in our galaxy. Project Blue's half-meter-wide telescope will be sent into orbit. Its high-contrast imaging is designed to take pictures of our closest neighboring star system, Alpha Centauri. Alpha Centauri is 4.37 light-years away from our solar system. Scientists estimate there is an 85% probability that Alpha Centauri's sun-like stars have an Earth-like planet somewhere in their habitable zones. If a planet orbiting within the habitable zones is detected with an atmosphere that could allow liquid water to exist on its surface, it may appear as a pale blue dot in the telescope. The telescope is projected to be sent into space in roughly three years, capturing pixelated images similar to this. Any discoveries made will broaden our understanding of how life could exist nearby, offering us a gateway to the universe of possibilities we may work towards. Life on Earth may have been sparked by super flares from the sun. Some 4 billion years ago, only 70% of the sun's energy was received by the Earth, not enough to warm the planet. Despite this, geological evidence shows it was a warm globe with liquid water. Scientists have long been puzzled by this paradox, but new research may finally have an explanation. Super flares. Our sun today produces super flares once every 100 years. The bulk of this energy is kept from reaching Earth by the planet's strong magnetic field. When the sun was much younger, only a few million years old, the flares were much more frequent and intense. The Earth then also had a weaker magnetic field. Particles from solar storms collided with nitrogen molecules in the atmosphere, breaking them into individual atoms. These, in turn, split carbon dioxide molecules into carbon monoxide and oxygen. 
nitrogen combined with oxygen to form nitrous oxide, a potent greenhouse gas that would have warmed the planet enough for liquid water to exist. Energy from the solar particles may have also helped create complex compounds like DNA and RNA, the building blocks of life. Researchers pieced together a timeline of the sun's evolution by analyzing data from NASA's Kepler Space Telescope, which found stars resembling our sun. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. And you thought the moon was made of cheese. Researchers in Israel have revived a decades-old theory that the moon was created by a series of collisions in space. Many scientists believe the moon was created when a Mars-sized planet crashed into Earth billions of years ago. However, the Israeli researchers say simulations show their theory is the correct one. According to some experts, the moon was created over millions of years by objects in space colliding with Earth. Multiple impacts and material from the planet flying into space. That material then began orbiting Earth. The objects hit Earth at different angles, which sent more material into space than would have occurred from a single impact. According to researchers, the objects that collided with Earth had between a hundredth and a tenth of the planet's mass. So much material was excavated from Earth by these collisions that a ring of debris formed around the planet. As the debris orbited Earth, it then collided, forming small moons known as moonlets. As many as 20 moonlets then collided together over millions of years to form the moon. The researchers say this explains why the moon has an Earth-like chemical makeup. A widely believed theory says a planet called Theia provided most of the building materials for the moon when it crashed into Earth 4.5 billion years ago. But now the Israeli scientists say more research into the interiors of Earth and the moon is needed to prove their theory right. Jupiter's iconic spot is turning up the heat. Mankind is beginning to unravel the mysteries of our solar system's biggest planet, starting with its atmosphere. Jupiter's atmosphere has roughly the same temperature as that of Earth, despite being five times farther away from the Sun. Dubbed the planet's energy crisis, this detail has long puzzled scientists until now. The explanation for the gas giant's superheated atmosphere lies in its great red spot, which is a massive 10,000-mile-wide hurricane with 400-mile-per-hour winds that has been raging for centuries. Jupiter's atmospheric temperatures are around 1,700 degrees Fahrenheit, but the area directly above the great red spot is hundreds of degrees hotter. This suggests a link between the planet's upper and lower atmospheres, despite being separated by a vertical distance of 500 miles. The heat is likely caused by high-energy acoustic waves shooting up from the storm. The waves cause atoms in the air to move around, raising the temperature. NASA expects to gather more information from the Juno spacecraft, which is now in orbit around Jupiter. Now that scientists have discovered why the atmosphere is so hot, maybe they can also figure out why the spot is red. NASA discovers Mercury is both shaking and shrinking. Mercury. It's the closest planet to the Sun and had long remained an enigma to researchers until just a few years ago. Mercury is the smallest planet in our solar system, and new research from NASA suggests it might be getting smaller as the space agency found that the planet is warm, tectonically active, and shrinking. Prior to crashing on Mercury, NASA's Messenger spacecraft photographed the planet's surface for 18 months. It found long cliffs called scarps which suggests Mercury may experience seismic activity. The researchers expect the seismic activity on Mercury to be similar to Earth's moon. According to Space.com, the planet is still hot enough to keep contracting and have a molten outer core. That same core has helped sustain Mercury's magnetic field for billions of years. Perhaps the biggest takeaway from the research is that Mercury now joins Earth as the solar system's other tectonically active planet.